Welcome to lesson number 12 on probability and in this lesson we study the expectation of random variables. The expectation of a random variable is the average value taken by that random variable. So it could mean the mean or the center of the random variable. Some people call it the first moment of the random variable. Some people call it the long run average of the random variable or simply the mean of the random variable. In this lesson, we will start with the expectation of discrete random variables, and then we also describe the expectation of continuous random variables. To begin with, let's say x is a discrete random variable with, let's say, with PDF, I'm sorry, with PMF, probability mass function of P of x of little x, and let's say it has a support script x. Then, the expectation of that random variable is denoted by the expectation of x or e of x, and that is equal to the sum over all values in the support x times p of x of little x. That is the expectation of the random variable x if the random variable x is discrete. Now, another notation which is often used is the notation mu. Mu or the expectation of x simply means the average value taken by that random variable x. To make this formula more concrete, let me just give you a simple example. Let's say we have a random variable x that takes values let's say 0, 1, or 2. Let's keep it simple takes a value of 0 with probability 0.6, takes a value of 1 with probability 0.3, takes a value of 2 with probability 0.1. Alright, that sums to 1. 0.6 plus 0.3 plus 0.1, that is equal to 1. Then the expectation of that random variable, or mu, is the sum over all the supports. Now, the support of this random variable is the set 0, 1, and 2. So that's the support from x equal to 0 to 2 of x times p of x of little x, and that is equal to plug in 0, 0 times the probability that x is equal to 0, plus 1 times the probability that x is equal to 1, plus 2 times the probability that x is equal to 2. 0 times 0 0.6 plus 1 times 0 0.3 plus 2 times 0 0.1. That is equal to 0 0.5. So the average value taken by the random variable x described by that probability mass function or by, the, by this distribution is 0 0.5. One more example and then we will go to continuous random variables. Alright, let's say we have again a random variable x with PMF P of x of little x which is equal to 5 minus x divided by 10 for values of x 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, what is the expectation of this random variable x? The expectation of x or the mean or the first moment. All those names can be used interchangeably. Okay, so this is equal to the sum over all the support of x. Now what's the support here? The support is the set containing values 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so the values from 1 to 4 of x times p of x of little x. That is equal to, when you plug in 1, that's 1 times the probability that x is equal to 1, plus 2 times the probability that x is equal to 2, plus 3 times the probability that x is equal to 3, plus 4 times the probability that x is equal to 4. Okay, so this is 1 times 5 minus 1 is 4 divided by 10, plus 2 times 3 divided by 10 plus 3 times 2 divided by 10 plus 4 times 1 divided by 10. And you get a value equal to 2. Therefore, we have that expectation.
we now have an idea of how to find the expectation of a discrete random variable x and the expectation of x is the sum all over the support of x x times p of x what if now we have a continuous random variable let's say we have a continuous random variable y and it's continuous suppose y has a probability density function of f of y of letter y with support script y. Now, the expectation of this random variable denoted by the expectation of y or mu again is now instead of the summation we use the integral. The integral over all values in the support of y times the probability density function f of y of letter y dy. Okay, so that's the expectation of the random variable y. That's how it's defined. Let's do a concrete example again. Suppose that we have a random variable y with a PDF f of y of little y and f of y of little y is given by 12 times y squared times 1 minus y. For y between 0 and 1. Now, the support of this random variable is the values between 0 and 1. So script y, or the support of that random variable, is the values 0 to 1. The expectation of this random variable, which is what I want to find, the expectation of y, which is mu, is equal to the integral over all the support, that is the limit, lower limit 0, upper limit 1, of y times f of y of little y dy. And that is equal to the integral 0 to 1 of y times, now the PDF is 12 times y squared times 1 minus y dy. And that is equal to, I can take 12 outside of the integral, 0 to 1, and y times y squared is y cubed times y, I'm sorry, times 1 minus y dy. I'm sure there's many different ways of solving this. This, this is just one way. So this is 12 times the integral 0 to 1 of y cubed minus y to the power of 4 dy which is equal to 12 times y to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus y to the power of 5 divided by 5 limits 0 to 1 and that is equal to 12 times 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5. That should give you a value 12 over 20 which is 3 over 5. So we have the expectation of a continuous random variable. We know now how to find the expectations of discrete and continuous random variable. Now, suppose we have a random variable y. And I am interested in finding the expectation of a function of that random variable. So, I want to find the expectation of g of y, where g is a real valued function. An example is, maybe I am interested in finding the expectation of y to the power of 2. How do I find that? Maybe the function of y I am interested in is the function e to the power of y. How do I find the expectation of that functional value of the random variable, e to the power of y? Okay, I will outline how we will do that. All right. Suppose we have a random variable y, which could be discrete or continuous. Really doesn't matter. And let's say g is a real valued function. So we have g of y. And we want to find the expectation of g of y. And that is equal to, that is equal to, if y is discrete, this expectation is equal to the sum over all values of y and the support of y of g of y times p of y of y. 
Now this is if y is discrete. If y is continuous, the expectation of g of y is the integral over all values of y in the support script y of, let me write script y correctly, script y of g of y times f of y of y dy. This is if y is continuous random variable. Let's do an example. Now, suppose we have a random variable y with pmf, p of y of little y, is equal to 1 over 6 to the power of y plus 1 for y taking values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to infinity. I leave it for you as an exercise to find the expectation of y. But what I'm interested in is to find the expectation of the function of y, which is equal to e to the power of y. I want to find the expectation of g of y, or the expectation of e to the power of y. And I'm going to utilize that formula here. And the expectation of g of y is equal to, now y is a discrete random variable because it takes countable number of values. The support script y is the set containing 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to infinity. So that's a countable set. Therefore y is a discrete random variable. And the expectation of g of y is the values y from 0 to infinity of e to the power of y times 1 over 6 to the power of y plus 1. Alright, let's find this. Let's simplify this. So that is the sum y equals 0 to infinity of e to the y times, I can write 1 over 6 to the power of y plus 1 as 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 to the power of y. And that is equal to, I can take 1 over 6 outside of the summation, so I have 1 over 6 times the summation of y from 0 to infinity of e to the y times 1 over 6 to the power of y. I can further simplify this as 1 over 6 times the summation of y from 0 to infinity of, I can combine these two expressions because they have the same power, y. So this is e divided by 6 to the power of y. An aside here, if you remember your geometric series, if you have the sum, let's say k from 0 to infinity of r to the power of k, this is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus r if r is between 0 and 1. And we have e divided by 6, that is 2.8 something divided by 6 is always between 0 and 1, and it's a constant. What we have here is 1 over 6 times 1 divided by 1 minus e divided by 6 by simply utilizing what I have here. And this is equal to 1 over 6 times 6 divided by 6 minus e, and that gives me a value of 1 divided by 6 minus e. Now I have the expectation of g of y, which is the expectation of e to the power of y is equal to 1 divided by 6 minus e. So I can find the expectation of a function of the random variable y. So this is a real valued function of the random variable y. Let me leave you with an exercise. Let's say we have a random variable x, which has a PDF. Okay, And the PDF is given by f of x of little x as e to the power of x for values of x greater than 0. Now you have a support of x, x greater than 0. I want you to find the expected value of x, and you should get an answer, 1. And I also want you to find the expected value of a function of x, a function of the random variable x, and that's g of x is x squared. Okay. So how do you find the expectation of x squared? And your answer should be 2.